if you're in the Portland area and you're considering getting jeans that are any tighter than the ones you're currently wearing, I must urge you to stop. They can't get any tighter. You will cut off your blood supply to your brain. If you have no blood in your brain, you might think that the housing policies and the housing market in Portland right now make sense. <laughs> That's a problem because they don't. So if you're one of the regular pants-wearing investors out there in the Portland area, you might be like, dude, it's whack out here. I need some help. I need to get my money out of here. I need to get my money into markets that have cash flow, markets that are affordable, markets that make sense from a landlord-tenant law perspective. Is that you? I friggin' hope so, because that's what this show's about today. If that's not you, you unfortunately have clicked upon the wrong link. I shall urge you to click upon something else, because I have nothing for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and today of all days, I'm working with my dude, Melvin. I've talked to Melvin about his pants choices in the past, folks, and I assure you, my man Melvin has the appropriate amount of width, of distance between his thigh and and his pants. They appropriately fit. I am very proud of Melvin. His boys, they're not they're not in a straight jacket down there. No, his boys are free to move. And he is free to have that free flowing brain, blood flow to the brain, and he makes good investment decisions. And he knows, he knows that the housing market in Portland ain't making no sense, right? So he's like, Jay Wise, I know you help investors like me who are in Tough situations, tough markets. You help us put our money where it makes sense. You're darn right I do, Melvin. And I got a deal for you today, brother. Only going to require $16,000. Cash flow is going to be great. Nice, safe neighborhood, and my team will handle the management. Let's take a look on a line-by-line -line basis exactly how the deal is going to work. Let's talk about the market. Let's talk about my management. Let's talk about helping you passively invest in cash flow real estate from the land of the skinny jeans right after this. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back, folks. Now, this property... This is going to seem like just crazy cheap to a lot of you, okay? Look at this thing. Nice little house, right? Nice little house. No issues there, right? Let's see what we got here. Another picture outside, right? Another picture outside. Going to the inside. Upside! Oh, just kidding! No interior pictures, folks. No interior pictures. Is that a horrible red flag? Should we all be freaking out? Thank you. I'm just, one second. I'm parched. No, it's not a red flag, okay? First thing I want to tell you guys as newest uh, new real estate investors, a lot of you guys are like, ah, there's no interior pictures. What do I do? What do I do? You might freak out. You might think it's a big deal. It's not. What we have here is a tenant-occupied single-family home. Now, it doesn't mean we just make uh, offers, committed offers, uh, uh, no contingency offers without information. No, I'm, we're going to get you the information. But you have to understand something. Tenants do not like to have random people showing up in their houses. Then we go through COVID. Post-COVID world, it's unheard of to be bothering tenants uh, and the inside of their homes these days, okay? We're going to make our offer contingent on a home inspection. But I'm going to tell you this. We have long-term tenants in there. They're paying below market rent. They're paying $800 a month in rent. But the market rent for this is $975. $11,700 is what should come in for the year, right? Here's what you need to know. 321 West 32nd, Lorraine, Ohio. That's the address, right? It's been on the market for a pretty decent chunk of time, but 
This isn't one of those situations, in my opinion, where the seller will just take a low ball offer. I believe the seller's like, this is my price. I'm making good money. It's not 975, but it's 800. So the seller's just like, yo, my price, or like, I'm not selling it because I'm currently making money. And what you get in a situation like this, folks, is it's very, very common for the listing agent and the seller not to bother their tenants, not to get inside their units. Don't expect to be getting a property where it's like the Taj Mahal. They've been in there a long time. I can almost assure you the fixtures are older. And you're going to need to do a turnover when they move out, okay? So right now we have them in there paying 800 We want to slowly work these tenants, existing tenants, up to 975 over a year or two. We don't want to create a turnover because I guarantee you, without even getting pictures, it's not like they're going to move out and you just get to re-rent it at market rate. No, we're going to have to, like, repaint it. If there's carpet, we'll probably need to replace the carpet, do vinyl flooring, refinish the hardwoods, right? You're looking at, like, a $10,000 turnover, right? Probably kitch kitchen and bath fixtures probably need to be updated, right? So understand that. What we're going to do is we're going to make our offer contingent on inspection, and we're going to be looking for big ticket items, right? Structural issues, major problems, water damage. That's what we're looking for. Cosmetically, it's really irrelevant for our purposes. So that's what I need you guys to know about the lack of photos, right? A lot of new investors, like I said, start thinking, oh, it must be a red flag. It's just how business is done, folks, especially in a post-COVID world. And I'm here to tell you, set your expectations uh, right, knowing that you're doing a turn after these people move out. That's just the name of the game. Now, what you need to focus on is the numbers. Long term, 975 comes in, folks. After fixed and variable expense estimates, I project you guys making a clear profit of 504.50 a month on average. That's a little over 6,000 for the year. And that's with my team doing the management, right? So it doesn't matter where you live, right? You live anywhere, live where you want, invest where it makes sense. Markets like this, they make sense, right? Lorain, Ohio, I'm sure most people watching the show have never heard of Lorain, Ohio. It's in the Cleveland market. When you're Googling best cash flow markets in the country, I'm sure you're coming across Cleveland, right? Here's the cool thing. Lorain, little known city, half hour or so west of Cleveland. Nationally, nobody really talks about Lorain. It's off the radar, and the returns are better, Dealing with the cities easier, right? Cleveland just enacted new lead paint laws that are really throwing some confusion into the marketplace right now. So confusing, I had to do a half hour long video explaining that process. It's in the show notes below. Anybody considering investing in the Cleveland market, I highly recommend you check that out. And in my opinion, it makes the desire to invest in Lorraine even higher, even better. If that isn't enough, Lorraine, folks, just got commitment. They're going to be doing two naval bases over there, okay? That's going to add several thousand jobs, right? You take a little city off the radar city like this, inject thousands of jobs into it, we're looking good. So in my opinion, this is one of the hidden gems of the Cleveland market. The deal makes a lot of sense, and here's the best part, right? You only need to put down 16250 Bank kicks in the other 48000 Long term, this thing should project out, under my estimations, approximately 22% return on your money. That is why people are leaving more expensive markets. They're coming to cash flow markets, coming to places like Ohio, hooking up with my company, because my company will run this thing for you just like you're here on the ground. We handle the property management, the maintenance, the leasing, the property insurance. If you need a new roof, we do that. We get you squared away with inspections. We are your one-stop shop, your boots on the ground team. But it starts here with this investment analysis so you know what you're getting, right? Things like being able to walk you through the fact that there are no pictures. Things like being able to set you up with the expectations that, hey, I guarantee you, I haven't seen the pictures yet, but they ain't going to be anything beautiful. Don't expect no freaking gold toilets. Don't expect these tenants who've been here long term below market rent to move out. And then we just walk in like, hey, what's up? Sweep, 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 sweep. Let's get a new tenant here. No, we're going to need to do a turn. Paint, floors, walls, kitchens, bath, most likely. We will put in the offer, contingent on inspection, and then we'll have more information. But this, folks, this is the start of the due diligence process. But all in all, this thing is a slam dunk. Seller, my opinion, not going to take a penny less than 65. No reason not to give him 65. Let's get the deal done. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.